Now, go ahead and define the properties of this variable by typing this code right here. List and icon. Okay, now you can click to this button right here or you can click to the mm file and right after the implementation, type in this code. This will define the getters and setters for your two uh, variables right here. Now we need to tell uh, the table view the number of row right here in the section by typing this code. Just return the count of our array and you will actually know how many rows are in our section. Now go to the function right after and type in this code. Gonna define the text which is gonna come from the, our array, and you're also gonna define the image view, uh, which is gonna be the icon. We're gonna use the same image for all our animals in the table view, and then you need also to define the accessory type, which is gonna be the UI cell accessory disclosure indicator. Right <clears throat> now, before we leave this file. We're going to do one last thing, which is we're going to go all the way down to the file and we're going to release this memory. Now we need to create one specific species. So we're going to go here to classes and we're going to add the new, uh, new files and we're going to use a, a objective class and we're going to take NS object. So at this point, it is not really important which one we use because we're going to actually change its derivation. So the name is going to be UI Amphibians Table View Controller. Finish. This class going to extend the UI animal amphibia table view controller. Import the H file like this. Now go to the M to the that M file by clicking this button right here. And the only method you need to overwrite is this one is view did load. Now let's fill our array with a list of animals uh, known as amphibians. Okay, uh, let's check out our resources, our images. Now we need to define our icon by typing this code. So you see that this image I'm defining right here is the same image as here. So it doesn't have to be the same image. It's the image uh, that you want to use for, uh, for uh, that goes with the icon. Okay, so let's call the super function. And that's pretty much everything we need to do in this file right here. Okay, now double click on the main window, the zip file, and click on amphibians, tab right here, and then click on the miller. Go into the inspector right here. You can also find it by going to tool library inspector, and go to the last tab, and change the class to the UI amphibian table view controller, like this. So you are pretty much done. You can go back into Xcode, build, say yes, have all. And yes, now we have our list right here and we have our images and our uh, content disclosure right here as accessory content disclosure as wishes. Now, you need to do the same thing for every species that you have. So you have to actually create a class like we did right here, add a new file existing, 
and then you're gonna derive it from any classes as we did for the amphibian but then you're gonna change it and derive it for the generic class that you have created before and that's pretty much it once you finish okay now when you finish you should have those type of files right here okay now go ahead and just uh, <clears throat> as you as you have your, all your files right here ready you can see that I have uh, all my files and I have uh, defined different animals for every specific species you should have the same thing you do exactly the same thing as we did for amphibians now you need to go back into the window main window and do essentially what we did before which is actually to go ahead and choose the appropriate, I click on bird, and then I click on the middle, and I'm gonna choose the bird, that view. And you do this for all your animals, and after that, you should have something like this. Okay, now, as you can see, I have for every uh, table of view right here, I have the appropriate class, like amphibians right here, go to birds, you're gonna see birds right here, you go to fish, click on the middle, fish, you see fish right here, insect, same thing for mammals right here, same thing for reptiles. Okay, now just click back to Xcode and compile, see how it looks like. So, birds are here, fish are here, insects are here, and same thing for mammals and reptiles. Cool. Now we're gonna do the last part, uh, which is actually to define a pre small presentation for every animal with a little picture. That's gonna come up right now.